Looks like we got some huge new news from the Alibaba team as they are back with a brand new AI tool. And this is where I'd like to introduce Coder, the agentic coding platform for real software. Coder is Alibaba's new AI IDE built to rival Kiro, Trey, and even Cursor. It just dropped today a couple hours ago and it's currently in the preview phase, which is completely free at the moment. And it's designed to actually help anyone developers and regular users code with reasoning and helping you build smarter. Now, unlike many of the different AI code editors we've showcased on this channel, Coder is pretty unique in its own way because it's built with agentic intelligence at its core. It doesn't just autocomplete code, it thinks deeper, automates complex workflows, and maintains project-wide context so that you can focus on building. But what makes this ID unique? Well, it has agentic coding, obviously, that is, a way for it to reason about your project, not just throughout snippets. It's able to have enhanced context engineering at its core for deeper understanding of your entire code base. It has automated workflows that handles complex dev tasks step to step. And you also have seamless integrations with intelligent agents to support smarter and faster software development. Now, just keep in mind right now, it is completely free because it's in the preview phase and they're just getting initial testing done by the community but eventually they're gonna be shifting over to a pay tier similar to how Amazon did with Kiro, where they initially introduced a free tier where they made everything completely free, all the models, but then eventually they moved on to a pay tier. So just keep that in mind. With Coder, you're gonna be able to program through conversation similar to how you would with something like Cursor's Composer or with Windsurf's Cascade. This is an enhanced context engine that lets the agent learn from your entire code base. This is where it will learn from the docs, the files, the plan and edit projects from a single prompt. You also have a new thing called quest mode, and this is to delegate individual tasks to different agents. Just simply describe a task and the agents will plan, code and test and even deliver results asynchronously. It has a lot of features like tool use, memory, it has all the models, tab it and you'll get an auto completion. You're gonna be able to wiki lies your code base, comprehensive context, memory rules, MCPs, inline chat, all the basic features you would see within a code editor. But now that we have gotten all that out of the way, let's now install this and test it out. You can install it for Mac OS or Windows. I'm gonna simply install it for Windows and then we can open it up. Before we get started, I just wanna mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. After installing, you're gonna be greeted with this welcome page. You can simply go ahead and click on let's start. You can actually import all your settings from VS Code or from Cursor. I'm gonna do it for VS Code since I have all my stuff there. Then you have the ability to set the theme as well as the language. Once that is done, you can then create an account with Quoter. And there we go, we now have Quoter opened up. You can see that this is a VS Code fork, but overall, you're gonna be able to now open up the chat panel with the Control plus L command. You can also open up the quest mode, which we had talked about with the Control E command and then the inline chat with Control I. But now let's go ahead and open up our chat panel so that we can interact with the AI chat that Coder has. Now, something cool that Coder does is that it routes your tasks to the best large language model that's available. You don't need to actually switch between different language models. You don't need to pay for any API costs at the moment. It does it all for you. It could use something like the Sonnet model. It could use something like the GPT-5 or even a Gemini model. This is the capability of this new agent mode that has been integrated with Coder. And I'm not too sure about it myself because I think it's best if you have more free will to select a certain model that you want to use for a particular product. But I guess this is their selling point. It roots the best model for the particular use case so that you don't need to actually do that yourself. But in my opinion, I like to have the flexibility to choose my own model. But right now you can see that I'm using the AI chat, the agent mode, you have two different modes, an ask mode and an agent mode. The agent mode is gonna be able to autonomously take in your task, like creating a task management app and deploying different agents to accomplish it. Right now, you can see that it has created an action item, which is one of its features. It creates a list of different step-by-step -step tasks that it needs to deploy to the different agents to accomplish. And right now it is working on this. You can 
have it so that you can run terminal commands, which you can see right now it's doing. You can also have it so that it's going to be able to answer questions with the ask mode. If you have a particular question with a certain repo or with a certain file, you're going to be able to do that with the asks mode. And you'll see the same sort of functionality that you would see with other IDEs. You have the human in the review functionality where after it generates new files, you'll see the new updated files that it has created. You can accept all of them at once or you can accept an individual file. There's also built-in checkpoints. So if you want to revert a certain section of the code and go back to a previous checkpoint, you can do that within the AI chat. Oh, and like I said before, you also have inline edits. So if you press the control plus I feature, oh, I just ruined the code. Okay, sorry about that. But if I press control I, you can see that I have inline edits. This is where I can type in an instruction like change the code or debug it and it's going to be able to execute it directly within that particular file or that particular line. Now, what would be cool is if they added live streaming, because right now I don't know what it's actually writing code on or how many lines of code. It's just saying creating file. If it was able to showcase what exactly it's writing, then I would be able to stop it maybe mid generation, tell it that you're going a different direction. Please go another way. And that way it's going to be able to save time as well as credits. And there we go. We have our taskmaster app. This task management app has a dashboard, the tasks that you can add, projects that you can upload, notes, habits, calendars, as well as analytics, and even a focus mode. These are all different features that were composed with a single prompt that was sent in. And you can see that it's a pretty good comprehensive management app. It doesn't look great, but it looks pretty decent to me. It has functional features like a dark mode. I don't know why there is an audio mode, but you can see that there's even a settings where you can clear cache, but overall did a good job in generating this basic task management app with a single prompt. Now, like we saw the agent mode, there's also a quest mode, and this is something that you can access by typing in control plus E within the IDE. And this is where you can add individual tasks. Now you can add a new task by clicking on this button, and then you can add context to whatever file or folder that you want to add a specific change to. You can write specs with AI, you can plan things and build things asynchronously and autonomously. You can write the specs first and then execute it directly. So in this case, I can say, can you build me a plan to debug my code base? And then I can send it in, write the specs for it first, and then I can have it then use this plan that it develops and have it executed with the execution agent. But right now you can see that it's creating a to-do list by first observing all the files I have within my task manager app. And then once it has done that, it's gonna then formulate a comprehensive debugging plan for me. And you can see that it has now generated this debugging plan based off the files that I had uploaded. Now I can send it over to the action flow, which will have agents deployed to execute it. And then a task report will be sent back to you. But in the same manner, you can have multiple agents working asynchronously, meaning you can have them working simultaneously to execute different tasks at different parts of your project. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content plus a lot more. But that's basically it for today's video on Quoter. This is a pretty cool new IDE that has context engineering built within, which is gonna let you have better context with your overall code base. It also has cool new features like the quest mode, which is pretty cool to see. And like I said before, this is something that is free at the moment for about two weeks, I believe. So get the most out of this because it's gonna be moving to a pay tier soon. So. You definitely want to get the most out of this in terms of the free usage that you get from it. But that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value out of it. This is a pretty impressive new ID by Alibaba. So huge props to them. Uh, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel if you haven't already. Make sure you join the newsletter as well as the Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.